And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play MS Saga New Dawn. Last time we left off, we cleared out the rest of the Neo Zarth base, and uh, we kicked their asses so damn bad that we managed to send them packing into outer space. So that kind of leaves us in a bit of a problem. Uh, we really don't have any way to get back to them, and I'm sure the plot wouldn't just allow us to do anything else but go after them. So we need to find a means of, uh, of catching up. And to that degree, we're going to go over here to Diggins Rock. Um, uh, apologies ahead of time if I start accidentally coughing or anything like that. I am uh, quite under the weather at the moment, but it's been too long since I recorded last, so I wanted to get something out and going. Anyways, we need to go talk to, um, oh hell, Astona? I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's who it is. The only problem is, I don't remember where the hell he slash she is at. I think it's a he. Now that uh, we get to it, maybe one of these. Uh, nope, don't think you. Yeah, that's nice. Don't care. Been there, done that. Read the book. Movie was less than uh, stellar. I think it's at the end over here. Or it's a big fat dead end. All right, so this is kind of useless. Where does this take me to? There we go. This looks right. Okay, now we're on track. Yep, it's right through here. I think. I'll know when I see the camera. This has got to be it. Yep, there it is. Straight to the spaceship. Doesn't even just you know beat around the bush. I like it. Tristan's finally getting into gear here. Whoa, hey, hold your horses. It's not like we can just strap rocket boosters to a Zock and launch in the... Wait a second. At least we don't have to regale them in actual text. If this, if I was a speedrunner, I would really like the fact that they do that. Although they could just get rid of the exposition entirely with that scene and just save more time. Like I said, take a Zock. It's... Surely it's seaworthy underwater, so surely it has to be vacuum uh, sealed. Just pack some rockets under that bad boy and away we go. Of course the world's going to end. Ah, so at least uh, even if... I'm a, it'll, it's a gotta be a guy. I'm, okay, well, I'm going to declare it now. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a guy. Not so fast, man. You gotta pay the toll. Oh, you really? Really? I need an appointment? I have single-handedly stopped the entire freaking invasion force of the Neo Zarth. And I have to have an appointment to see someone who has been, for the most part, uh, useless throughout this entire freaking game. Yeah, well, at least you pointed us to the right direction. Anyway, so that's right. Now we get to go to the Unicorn's headquarters. As a matter of fact, we haven't been back there in a long time. Ever since we came through the, um, the, is it the New Zealand, Alaska, uh, somewhere, the underground Arctic Tunnel thing, I'm a jigger. We haven't been there for a long time, so we're going to take care of that. But beforehand, I need to make one quick stop. And I think you can do this after the fact. It's not like a missable thing. It's just, I usually... When I found out about it after the fact, I just always do it now in this way. But uh, we need to go get ourselves a new character. That's right, folks. This late into the game where we're still recruiting people. Actually, there's a lot of optional stuff coming up here real soon. Uh, the game kind of goes in spurts to freedom allowing you to do certain things at certain times. We're about to get a lot more freedom here very shortly. Some people may already know what I'm talking about. I still had Invisible Eye. Okay, so what am I doing? Get 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 out of the ship. Just there you go. I don't know why I always do that. We have auto drive, it's so much quicker. We're gonna go to There it is, Maria's place. I don't know why it's at the bottom, it's not like it's alphabetical or anything like that. But anyways, we're gonna go over to Maria's place, because we got ourselves a character recruit. I think this is the point we ended, I'm pretty sure. I haven't looked at anything to actually remember a lot of stuff. And now we're going off of memory, which... Oh yeah, no, we're right. You. I. Pronoun game. Yep, I am the one who whipped you up and down the sidewalk. Uh, yeah, I rescued you from the 
soon to have exploded wreckage of your mobile suit. By mobile suit, I mean walking tank. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a relation between the two of them. I like the pilot suit better that Lapis has on. Uh, if you really compare and contrast between Tremi, who has a lack of clothing in several key areas for being a pilot suit, and then there's Lapis, who's got, for the most part, a complete uniform. Yeah, the Psycho Gundam was kind of driving you nuts. We'll just go with that story explanation. Other than that, you know, team-killing asshole. We'll put the past behind us. Yeah, we noticed. Now, tell me you've got that Psycho Gundam up and running again. That baby would be sweet to stroll into battle. That's a good reason to fight. Matter of fact, we had somebody with a freaking wolf skin on top of his head who kind of did the same thing. Yay! Now, we get Lapis as a party member. Here's the thing. I don't know if you actually have to trigger the Estona, uh, talk to Estona first to find out about Unicorn HQ to actually get this to go. It's just always the, the route I went for it. So, if anybody else actually knows the, you know, the order for it, does it have to be done in a set order, or can it just be done in a different way? Okay. Okay, so we, now we have Lapis, and, uh, Lapis, however the hell it's pronounced. And he, she, it, I'm pretty sure it's a she, comes with their own handy mobile suit. They actually come with, um... can't do that here. I've actually got to have a safe point. Anyways, they come with a, um, a cubulate. Brand new cubulate, which, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to use for my party makeup, and I can't remember what the hell she knows right now. She should start out at the same level that I am, but I don't have a save point to find out. Again, why, why? I keep forgetting that I don't really need this thing right now. Ah, <sighs> technique, auto drive. Unicorn Headquarters. Now, if I remember correctly, we couldn't actually get into the Unicorn HQ because they technically wanted to kick our asses for being traitors, thanks to not General M. Bison being a total douche nozzle. But now we should be able to get in here without any issue whatsoever. Now, there's actually a lot of stuff in here that uh, should be open for us to pillage now. Uh, I think we're supposed to go here. Can I actually go into the back areas yet? Find out. I may have to trigger a couple scenes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bite me, dude. I think this is where I've got to go. I gotta talk to Olivia. That's right, yeah. Uh, up the stairs to the door to Grandmother's house we go. Olivia, are you back here? There you are. Actually, fades into a cutscene. Yeah, take the bounty off our heads, otherwise you guys really won't be living for much longer. You know, carrying the pistol when you're really primarily about mobile suit conflict seems a little, well, underwhelming. Twice. It's the second time we've had to regale somebody with this story. Nobody saw this rocket trail anywhere. Surely word has gotten around about that. I mean, we single-handedly just destroyed the Neo Zarf base. Nobody, nobody has heard about this shit? Well, that was simple. Alright, so again, I don't know what triggers a while. I just kind of wander around town, pillaging shit for the most part. And there's a couple things we need to show off shop-wise. I think now there's some new stuff opened up. Because we can't quite go and do our own thing just yet because we're still missing some key things here. Can I get back? Oh, you really? Thank you. What are you going to do? You don't have a firearm. All right, so now we can get in there. I was about to say, if I could get back in here. More people to talk to. OK. 
Okay. Prices are criminal. I'm kind of curious what he's got. Hacking tool. That's right. We can buy those now. I forgot about that. It's repair kits. Regeneration kits. Maintenance. Cures all allies. That's actually not bad. 4,000 is fucking huge. Medical nanotech. Okay. Launcher arms. Missile arms. Range 50 and 50. Ah, there's something I'd be interested in. The drill claw for a melee unit. Particularly, I'm looking at these four up. Uh, Lee Fang, this would be good on her mobile suit. However, they are not cheap. Forty grand a piece. Hey, now nah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna sit on that. I could purchase one, but there's no point in purchasing just one. New weapon shop. What do you guys have for here? Of course they would. They, you know, we we could be saving the world, desperately trying to save it, but they're gonna hold out on us here. Large missile shield. Oops. Ah, Toggy shield. Oh, it's the original Toggy shield, too. Large double beam gun. So if you missed out and you never got it, here's a good time to buy it if you want one. Uh, high output beam rifle. Okay. Double beam gun. I think we've got a couple of those right now. Grand cannon. There's a... Wow, it's got quite a bit, but it takes energy five. It's a lot. A high-powered machine gun, a hyper bazooka. It's gonna mark two, I think. Beam machine gun. High output uh, beam saber. Beam tomahawk. Wow, that's kind of cool, but a really fucked up looking thing. Heat lance, and that's about it. Okay, some nice stuff there. Looking for items right now. Now, as we saw, shit is not cheap, yo. Yeah, we know this. Yeah, God forbid you freaking give it to us. Okay, how do I get to the dock? Down here? Is this the dock? Are there treasure chests over here somewhere? I know there's freaking treasure here somewhere. There's always treasure in a town. Okay, camera scene transition. Always suspicious of places I can't see the camera at. What you do back here? The head is the administrative building. You know, best behavior. Director Shellborn. At least I have a name to him now. Can I get in here with the tank? I can, but not very far. No treasure just here. So we want to avoid the administrative building just yet. So there's a lot of goodies in here to retrofit your uh, your units with, should you so choose to. I'll go over here first. Camera transition, it's fine. I'm gonna need to be doing a lot of digging and grinding here soon for stuff. That sounded dirty. Yes, tell us, which one do you like? I'm into Gundam. Uh, you're gonna find that you might wanna try and give everybody a piece of, uh, if you're that popular. You know, why just be Gundam? Gundam's cool, don't mind, get me wrong. Gundam's freaking awesome, but. Ah, uh, you're missing out in life if you're missing some of that there, kid. Nope, I wandered back here and I'm actually here to threaten and kill everyone because you dumbasses didn't even check me for weapons. I act like this is some giant thing. I could have flown over the gate. There's not a single thing that you could have done to stop me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, dog. You talk, dog? No, you don't. Surprising. Not even a bark. Yeah, that's gone just so well for you guys. If you guys did your jobs, I'd be out of a job. Anything here? I always check these shells, but there's never really anything in them. What do you got to say? Constable Ox's wife. I'm all up for gifts. The G system on the moon! Despite previous dissertations, it has recently been established that a G system exists on the moon. We have no clue how this is. How do, how do you prove this? Furthermore, an evidence shows that it is a super mega awesome G system gold edition. Similar to design uh, to the one that caused the Great Fall. There is no cause for alarm, however. It's incomplete. Yeah, well, we're about to make that, uh, uh, that impossible task possible. 
Okay, well, too bad we already saw somebody take off to space, so we kind of know that it is possible. Treasure chest. 3,000 credits, I'll take that. Anything else for the hood over here? No? Alright, 3,000 is 3,000. Thanks, Constable Ox. I don't know why your wife lives all the way fucking over here. You don't, but whatever. Ah, I knew there'd be something back here. Small E cap is good. I hate this though, there's no like map area that you can see from either. Anything else? Not that I can see. There might be something else back here. I'm just gonna miss it by accident. Oh. Nice. I don't know why they even bother to lock the doors. Ooh, treasure. Hacking tool. Kind of redundant now that I can buy them. The greatest of the Gundams. The Burning Gundam is uncontested, which is true. The Burning Gundam is fucking amazing for melee combat, as G Gundam has demonstrated. Okay. Ah, that's foreshadowing if I've ever heard it. The ultimate Gundam. Well, it can't be the Devil Gundam. We already whipped the fuck out of that thing. Anything else up here to pillage? No. no. Ooh, there's trash. Ah. Restorative drink. And I've got a lot of stuff I need to buy. Need to refit the team. Need to get ready for some extra content. And over here in the corner. Surprised but you can actually walk around. Some of these sprites I thought would actually have too big of a hitbox to actually get around. What's down here? Trees, 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 person. Person. Called the burning gun. Apparently you can get one at the Coliseum! Spoiler alert! Yes, in fact, that is true. I don't know. I don't remember that guy actually telling you that. But yes, folks, we can actually get ourselves a burning gun, which is on my long list of shit to do. But uh, we're not quite ready for that yet. That's that's going to take a lot. Find located the fifth Mega G. Really, locked door, you say? Can't get in, you say? What's down here in the sure? Oops, that's a gate. I know I'm missing something. There's probably a treasure chest like hidden somewhere right here. What are you two fighting about? Okay. Yeah, I would say so. Wait, what? Speed's more important for a melee unit mostly, right? I mean, the faster machine, the better the chance for good play. Well, in terms of the stats for this game, uh, critical hits are great. So speed, I think, and not to mention you get dodge chances higher with... Are you dead, dude? Get your lazy ass up. Can you rest here? Big shit in this place. Alright, well. Lazy ass engineer. Next door. GPS system. Nice. Uh, 2,000, so a total of 5 grand so far, not bad. It's not a whole huge amount of money, but it's something. What do you got back here? No, oh, hello. Ooh, there we go, Bawu data, yes. Although I think I'm now over what I needed for the... Am I being blocked by the... The clothing is blocking me, that's comical. Can I get back behind here? No, all right. That's right, folks. Tune in next time for Logan Har when he's a kleptomaniac and has to collect every damn thing. Boring episode is probably boring, but we gotta get through it in order to get everything. I know I'm missing something. Uh, this game's not really clever with its spots. It's kind of a dick with the camera placement. Okay. Right, what do you guys got going? Okay. Yeah, you guys got taken over by Neo Zart. How the hell... No, seriously, you guys are freaking pathetic. To get a bite, don't talk to me, fine, fuck off. I like to hear about a shot. In fact, if memory serves, this should be a very good shot. 
the hell are you doing here, Li Feng? Just kind of standing around, staring at the ocean? Well, the Sea of Stars, but yeah, I guess that works too. Yeah, the excitement of battle. Pro tip, that never goes away. Oh, you'll be fine. God, how far down did this guy bury his shop? Seriously. Ah, corners are annoying. Hacking tool times two, nice. Making up for all those ones we used earlier. Nice boat. Did you put the shop on the boat? I've traveled the world on this ship. Wow, they do give you a lot of hints about some of this stuff here. There he is. Ah, here's our basically our black uh, market dealer. So we've got Zaku 3 data, the Dresden. The ours, ours, is ours. So if you wanted to hold off from making it, you could buy the additional 49 data and have uh, have it be up. Or you could buy Bawu data if you missed any. Surprisingly enough, the Bawu is actually quite expensive. I don't know. Maybe they expected you to, to look for everything and kind of penalize you here for it. So let's see here. Yeah, I'm sitting on 70 right now. Not too bad. But uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to make the Babu. I'm actually sitting pretty on quite a bit of stuff for uh, large E caps. But here, rather soon, we're going to be changing out mobile suits that we're going to get, like, willy. Just, like, really one after the other. So I don't know if it'll be worth it. I would like to make it just for collection's sake. Because uh, I've pretty well made almost one of every mobile suit. But then again, I haven't made one of the Dresden. I probably won't make one for the Dresden. Uh, Zaku 3, which is a decent mobile suit, don't get me wrong. Uh, I just don't know if I can use it in my lineup. I may be forced to, because I'll need it eventually for some further stuff, uh, malarkey in the Colosseum, but right now I'm not quite certain. But I can always come back. Anyways, let's go back into the administrative building and get this show on the road so we can end this part. And the next part, we're going to start uh, the uh, item collection slash optional area cleanup. We still have quite a bit left over to get rid of. Oh, that's a nice building. Alright, what do you guys say? This is the administrative building. <sighs> Poor Gavin. Yeah, thanks. At least somebody's finally putting their faith in me right now. Alright, what do you got? Please use the elevator. How many floors can we go to? Uh, third floor, so I'm going to go to the second floor, because why the hell not? Oh, there's a door. What do you got to say here? Okay. He did say third floor, right? Damn straight. Oh, I was talking to you earlier. Whoops. How, how is this energy readings? Maybe? I don't get it. Okay, so nothing up here. Anything across the hall, or are we done? No, no, it's the door. Nice, conference room table. I'll bet he can. Maybe he can help us out with some free shit. That's always helpful. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. This is Director Shelbourne's office. And that's it. And a big cheese on shit mountain there manages to get his own office on his own floor. What the hell are you wearing on the top of your head? Uh, no, that would be Olivia. That's Tristan. Then you gotta get those bifocals adjusted. He's more machine now than man. That would be nice, yes, for all the inconvenience that you fricker, uh, frickers, fuckers have put me through. That was a fricker.
To be frank, I don't give a damn. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, because you guys saved the world, right? You got a spaceship you just kind of hold on on? Ah, yes. Enough even to potentially spark. Okay, exactly what sparked the Great Fall? Did it just overload and explode when somebody tried to make too many potatoes in it? What's going on here? These things had to be a little bit more flexible. You have used the G system to create mobile suits. This is inviolate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, there, there is that point. Thank you, Olivia. Somebody finally stands up for us. Thank you. I, thank you for putting up with this. True, but I'm going to disregard that valid point completely. How are you having freaking problems with this, chef? Come on, man. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, let's just keep to our rules, despite the fact that if we uh, if we do, we'll actually doom humanity. Mm, that's pretty good. All right, finally got the stick out of your ass, did you? No, no, you don't understand. We're taking a chance on you. You assholes have literally provided us with zero support for like the majority of the game, and you have the audacity to tell me to go fuck off. Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah. Ah, uh, Houston, we have no problems. That's right, car key level four. As everybody knows, with a new car key means there's new shit we can get into. Yeah, that's where our first stop's gonna be, or one of our first stops, actually. Bring me 99 exactly data of spacecraft. So you're gonna build it for me, too? Oh, good, so maybe it won't cost me an ECAP. Yeah, you gotta go to the one that's like in Vancouver or whatever. Other entrance on the other coast. Should be easy to spot from the air and your gal. Good luck. Gow. Alright, well, to hell with you, fucker. You just wanted to tell me to fuck off. I'll take you and your stove pipe hat and sh. Well, folks, after a wonderful fucking welcome from them, I think we're gonna get the hell out of here. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, start considering taking apart some of my party members' mobile suits and putting them back together again. In the meantime... See, oh, I forgot. We do have a color option up for uh, grabs for the moment for the uh, cubulae that Lapis has. I haven't decided if I'm going to put it in the main party, but... Uh, the standard color scheme for that one, I think, is just the normal white and pink thing. I don't remember. Takes too much time. Too much time. So anyways, that's uh, that's up for grabs for color schemes. Oh, I mean, I can't do a whole lot with them. Um, yeah, I didn't think so. We'd have to change out party members. We can't change party members here? Really? Alright, fine, whatever. Alright, so we're going to save here, folks, and when I get back, uh, I'll have done some stuff and we'll start some of the optional crap in this game, because there's a lot we can get into now. A lot of good stuff, too. So when we come back, that's what we'll do. Hopefully I'm going to be feeling better so I can actually fucking record for longer than what I've got going now. Ugh. So, folks, until next time, see you later. <laughs>